Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the new save file. We are jumping in again and we are on a 20 streak after our tainted Azazel run previously. Um, and we are going to jump in this time. Of course, I'm skipping Lazarus, I'm skipping Eden, I'm skipping Tainted Lost. I want to keep the streak alive, I want to try and keep it going for a little bit. I still play Tainted Keeper, he's a tricky one, but I, I, I want to put myself to some challenge. I just, these characters, I'm not good at. Uh, but we're going to jump in as Tainted Lilith this time around and see what we can get done. Probably going to go for Beast. Uh, we've also got the option to go to Mother as well, so it really depends how well the first floor goes. But knowing Tainted Lilith, this shouldn't be too bad. Um, ooh, date mind off the bat, nice. Uh, the only sort of realistically really tricky thing that I'm seeing is if we do end up going mother, um, of course, we have to get the knife piece, um, and obviously we have to play as the lost for a short time there. That's like my biggest risk right now on basically any of these runs where we want to go mother, which I still do want to do, like, um, of course, if things start going wrong, I am going to try and take the safer path, um, but... If things aren't going wrong, if it's a good run, I want to still go for completion marks where I can. I mean, I'm enjoying keeping the streak alive, and I'd like to keep it going. But, at the same time, it's all about trying to get completion marks at the minute. I mean, we've been doing a really good job. It's kind of why we're playing the vanilla characters so much. And I think you guys have been enjoying it as well, from what I can see. Um, the views on the most recent episodes have been really good. I didn't mean to pick up that zealot heart there, but hopefully we can keep it alive. I didn't mean to... Uh, sorry, I, I just repeated myself. I don't know why. Um, ooh, another bomb. Lovely. So yeah, I gotta say, people seem to be enjoying them, and I don't know if it's because we've got the, the streak going or what, but people seem invested. This is a really good first floor. This is probably a decent one to go mother on, to be honest. Uh, item wise, we didn't get anything amazing. Uh, Dirty Mind is good, but not crazy good. Uh, so we'll see what we get from our boss here. Especially if we get a damage up, I'm definitely gonna go mother. Uh, but health wise, things are looking real good. Health wise, things are looking real good. And we did indeed get a damage up, so we will indeed be going down this way. Good, good. And we got another key there as well. Lovely. So yeah, we do have to be a little bit careful when we grab our knife piece. Um, as long as we stick over rocks and stuff, we should be pretty much okay. And we got ourselves money equals power for our Lemmageddon Wisp here. So probably not going to be able to do too much with that. We are on the boiler floor here, which pr pr uh, proposes a few extra challenges just because it's a floor I'm not super, super familiar with. Um, so we'll see how it goes. As for the question of the day, when was the last time you whipped your fetus around? No. But, um... I don't know, what's the good question for today today? Um, we'll take whatever the random one is. A hey, prank cookie, awesome. Um, hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Who's, who are you closest with in your family? Or was that... I had this question in my mind. I can't remember if I asked this last episode or not. I might have asked this in the episode earlier today. I can't remember if I was just thinking about asking it or if I did ask it. I'll be honest, I forget so easily what I've talked about prior. If I have already said that, then instead it'll be, um... What do you have for dinner? <laughs> or you can answer both. Was that the shop there? Yeah, I'll go into the shop because we've got money. we got a lot of money there from the uh, thingies. Uh, thingy rocks. <sighs> this is kind of a tricky one. Um, Mama Mega is obviously pretty decent. Um... But I think we go with jumper cables and just, like, hope for a good active. Obviously, that does remove our damage up that we just got from money equals power. But money equals power is only a lemma get and wisp. It's not a permanent item, so I don't want to rely on it. I don't think that would be wise. We'll see what we can get going on. But either way, like I said, this character, definitely one of the easier uh, characters that you can play as. Certainly on the easier side of things. We shouldn't have too much issue, too much gripe with her. We'll see what we can get done. Prank Cookie's definitely a big gain as well here. See what sort of damage we can do. This boss, if I remember correctly, is like really, really easy. Nice. And we get some HP. Do we want to go Devil Deal? I think we're just going to go Angel Deal now. I'd rather keep my HP rocking, especially while we're going Mother. I don't want to take too much of a risk. We got double boiler. This might be the first time I've ever had back-to-back -back boiler. Wow. Okay, so there's our mirror room. Nice and easy. We got another lemon get em wisp. I'm not exactly sure what that is. When it's a modded item, it's a little hard to tell. I think it is a modded item here. Um, looks like a flower of some kind, maybe? Ooh, holy light. It's been ages since I've had holy light. Wow. Okay, very nice. I really, really like holy light, as does everyone. 
Um, the Azure spin down is kind of interesting. If we get a bad trinket, we can spin it down. Often doesn't really result in anything great, but there is some trinkets that I know of that spin down into good stuff. Ah, we lost our money equals power there. Like I said, it wasn't giving us much, and we weren't going to keep it around forever, so it is what it is. We've lost our uh, Lemmigate and Heart altogether now as well, so those hearts are fun, but they never they never last long. Good, good, so there's that. Uh, oh, I don't know what that was. Allows you to take a Devil Deal free. Yeah, we, like, for example, we don't want that, but it'll spin down to Cursed Penny. Do I care about Cursed Penny? Probably not. Uh, we've been to our item room and stuff. I don't think we really need to go back that way. Um, just see what we can do here. Make sure we keep both of our bombs here. Yeah, I was thinking of using them on this guy, but we need them. Oh, that holy light shot there was awesome. Nice and easy. Didn't get the angel deal, but we did get blue cap, which I'm pretty happy with. Um, and then let's go and do our uh, thingy piece. So we got our white fire here. It's a little risky to take the white fire straight away, I realise, uh, but it's just backtracking if I don't, so I can't be asked. Um, our mirror room was up here, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. We're all good on this front. And then item room wasn't too far away. Um, let's just try and remember which way we've got to go here. Okay, this shouldn't be too bad. Okay, not too bad at all. Um... I'm not going to risk doing our boss on a streak like this. Let's just take our knife piece and get on with our day, shall we? I could do the boss again because that was a pretty easy boss, but I just don't think it's worth the risk. I mean, like I said, that's probably on this character the most dangerous part of our run. Um, and luckily, our item room and mirror room were very close. We only had to do one combat room, which made things a hell of a lot easier for us. But anyways, let's bomb our way down to the next floor and have a good old time. But yeah, are you guys enjoying the fact that we're keeping a streak alive? I've realised that on some runs, I've, my commentary has been lacking because I've been so focused on like min-maxing and trying to make sure we keep the streak alive that it may have um, suffered the quality of the commentary a little bit. I'm hoping it's not too bad, but I'm also hoping that despite that, the, um, the stakes of each run are a little higher and therefore the runs might be a little more enjoyable. Um, in terms of actual viewing, because I know some of you are watching obviously mainly for the commentary. Some of you still watch for just the Isaac, um, or mainly the Isaac, should I say. Uh, so it does depend person to person, but be interesting to hear. Um, I don't think this is, but I've got to try it. Nah, didn't think so. Thought that would be a pretty weird way to have the secret room set up if that was the case. I'm loving Holy Light right now. Loving Holy Light. Holy Light's just a really fun item. Like I said, it's just been ages since I've last seen Holy Light. I can't whip that chest uh, cult closer. I kind of do want to, though, because... In fact, one... Was it one key that it cost to get to that? Um, and it's technically two keys. I'm going to go for that, you know. Four bombs for two keys is not a bad deal. Slightly annoying room here, but not terrible. Ooh. Actually pretty cool. Actually pretty cool. I've not really seen that enemy do much before, so that's a bit of a new one to me. Unfortunately, I've not really been able to make Dirty Mind work too well here. Um, I'm just not really destroying poops when given the opportunity, so it's kind of my bad. I'll try and watch out for them when I can like that. But honestly, Dirty Mind's just a secondary for us right now. It's not going to not gonna mean much overall. But I will try and hit it when I can. Hopefully we can get some luck upgrades here to make... Um, some luck upgrades to make our, uh, what's it called, a bit better. Holy light. Can get up to a 50% chance, I think. That's another poop there. I say, the poops are just good for protection. They stop shots coming in. They can stop enemies from walking close to you. Generally don't deal a lot of damage, but for that reason alone, they're pretty good. These enemies are a real pain in the ass. Beautiful. We need an active because we've got uh, the jumper cables right now and we're not making any use of it. See what we can get. Botfly. Uh, it's not that good, but I think it is like pretty good. I mean, definitely better than that. Um, I don't find Botfly does a, an amazing job of deflecting shots, but eh, it can it can do some work. It can do some work. Only destroyed one mushroom. And I got Magic Mush. 
It doesn't get much better than that, baby. Ba 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 baby ain't got nothing yet. You ain't, no, we ain't seen nothing yet. No, you ain't got nothing yet. Whoops. I mean, my luck was so great. How can I falter? How can I? How can I deny the power of the shroom? Uh, I I do have a shot back over there, but honestly, I'm so close now to the uh, boss room. I'm not even gonna bother. Angel deal should be coming here. Not much from this, but we did get some coinage and some bombs. Good stuff. Don't know what item you got, but I whip you. This character is just so insane, man. So insane, especially with Magic Mush now as well. Boy. It do be crazy. We've got the Tough Twins here. I'm just going to clear out some space to start with. My god, boy. Okay, really not a hard fight for us there. Tough Twins never is. Bit of HP there, lovely. And we get Polaris, which is kind of interesting. Um, we get 2020, then we get extra damage, and at level 3 we get Brimstone. Um, and basically, if we take damage, they get removed. It's kind of an interesting item. I don't know how Brimstone will work with this, but... We'll give it a go, um, and I think we're just ready to head down to the next floor. Yeah, we are. Good, good, good. Remember, we don't need to do our mother chase because I've got a mod that removes that. You can call it cheating if you want, but it's just time-saving because I've done it a billion times before and I rarely get hit on it. And on top of that, it kind of is really, really laggy when you're playing modded for some reason. I'm not quite sure why, but I'd rather avoid that when possible because it's not a pleasant viewing experience. It's not a pleasant playing experience. The uh, Compound Fracture, I goddamn love. An item I don't see enough. Very, very pleased with the item we've, we've got so far. I hurt myself with that bomb there, I'm pretty sure. Unfortunately, it was all for nothing. That room was pretty trash. Good shop. What do you hold for us? Potentially an active. Nope, just a boy. Good old Midas Touch. Not great. I do love the fact that the alternate versions from um, from the reworked furs have unique items. Because, like, normally you'd get Steam Sale, and Steam Sale's, like, really good. But I kind of like the fact that there's other worse things you can get if you get different champions. And then, like, for example, if you fight uh, Bob, you don't have to, like, Sloth, you don't have to uh, get Bob's Rotten Head every time. You can uh, get uh, Spider Bite if you get the slowing version of him, which is really cool. Oh, dude. Okay, so it was that that hit me last time. These guys are just kind of tricky. They're just kind of tricky. I'm taking damage, though, but it really doesn't matter. We're speeding along here. Another one of the bombing bosses. I'm really not a fan of these bosses. I really think they could do with a hefty rework. They're just so dull to fight. Guy, can you get off that bomb, please? My goodness. Oh, dude, I've not been able to hit him once yet. This is really frustrating. Okay, there you go. I need to hold the bombs for longer. There you go. One dead. God damn it. Oh, fuck you. There you go, we got him. Took us goddamn long enough. Um, spawns. Actually, this is this is pretty good. I know we're gonna lose all of our money here, but I'm actually okay with this. Got health up. Got a health up. Shot speed up. Damage up. Luck up. Range up. Pretty good stuff, I'd say. Obviously, cost us quite a bit, but. Overall, I'd say worthwhile. Item room we've been to, shop we've been to, we are good to go. For some reason, the door on this side, but it wasn't open then, that was weird. Um, knife piece 2 we don't need, it's good to go. This is going to be a speedy run, and we do get Gehenna, which is slightly tricky, mainly just because the bosses can be a bit harder, especially the modded ones. Ah, we lost our power up. Oh, 
bloody bug are you? Plus three fireball. Plus three fireball. I don't know what that big guy up on the roof does. He didn't seem to like come after me then when I uh, was in prime smashing location. Maybe it only is only active when the room's active. I'm not sure. It's not a secret room, okay. I thought it would be. Holy light's gonna activate slightly more often now that we've got um thingy. I love the fact that prank cookie is making our um shots into those little cookie shots or whatever they are, rocks or whatever they're meant to be. And then compound fracture is splitting it into the stars from the Polaris item. I might as well take this. Where did my Azur thing go? I lost that at some point, I don't know where. It's okay. We don't need it. We don't need it. Still no active, sadly. Which, on most runs, I'd be like, yay, no actives. But on this run, I've got jumper cables and stuff. And I'm kind of like, there's some good actives out there that could make a difference to this run. Got our secret room there. Got a bunch of dippies. Three random pills. None of them are horse pills, so I'm not interested. Just give me my... I don't even... I don't even care about the card. What am I doing? Fanning and about trying to grab that, and I really don't... I don't care. Lovely. That bomb. I think we're going straight to the boss here by the looks of things. I do want to get my item room and probably shop, honestly, considering my money's making its way up there. Do we have uh, Brimstone now? We do. We have Brimstone now. Ooh, which is bad. Really, really bad. Because it slows down our whipping drastically. He does auto-aim it though, so that's nice. Okay, he's actually pretty good if I just leave him out. Got multicolored, holy light going in there. He auto aims. I can leave him out to just do his thing. It's not quite the same play style, but I like it. Thank you for the black heart. It's not great, but it'll work for the thingy fight. And then we'll go and tr quickly try and get our item room here. I like the fact that they just auto fires while you're holding him out. It's very nice. Item room, item room, where are you? I love the fact that Prank Cookie gives you the rainbow as well on your uh, beams and lasers and stuff. That's so satisfying. What are you? Luckily this reset my Polaris though, so I can actually start whipping again. Yeah, the Polaris thing's kind of annoying that Brimstone's the last step, because in some runs that's really good, but in other runs it's really not. Oh, I got a holy dip there. Is that because I've got, um, what's it called? Freezer baby? Eh, it's, it's good, but I'm going to take the other thing. Hey, friend folio, I'm, I'm kind of more happy with that. One penny means shop is valuable to us now. Yeah, I think because I've got the uh, hollowed ground, I get holy dips sometimes now, maybe. Maybe some sort of synergy with dirty mind, because I don't know how else I would have got a holy one. I'm really not sure. Molten Dime is obviously a fun active, but not so much use for it right now. Uh, and I'll take it. Why not? I'll take it. There you go. It's already come into use. The world. World's actually pretty nice for us here for the next floor. Okay, yeah, Molten Dime's one of those ones where obviously you can hurt yourself with it a lot, but it can do some crazy shit. It's not really something that Jumper Cables really helps with, though, is the only thing. We don't get much out of that. There you go. Take whatever the second one is here. Eh. That allows us to do a bit more damage with our second eye. This is a really sort of treacherous room here because of the blades that will appear everywhere. I have been hurt many a time. Okay, so I think it's when I get whenever I get hit and spawn one of those, it um throws out one of those dips. Yeah, these 
These rooms with all the blades are an absolute nightmare in my opinion. Luckily they do disappear when you leave the room. If they didn't, it would be very annoying. Right now it's just pretty annoying. Good, good. Tinted treasure room here, nice. We'll check that out and see what we get. Um, interesting that it's reflected. Gain a chance to shoot an orange here which creates waves of fire in a cross pattern impact that deal three times your damage. That sounds pretty good. I'll take that. We get two of them as well, which I don't know what the benefit of that is. In fact, I don't think there's any benefit, so I'm going to gamble. Ah, we lost it. Fine. Yeah, slightly different version of Holy Light that's fire-based. I like it. Yeah, that's cool. Three times our damage as well is pretty good stuff. Pretty good stuff. More Blade Boys. Look, at this just stupid. It just came right towards me. There's not much I could do about that. Apart from getting out of the way, but I'm not going to admit to the fact that I could have just got out of the way. Why would I ever do that? Good, good. Unfortunately, we've gone all the wrong ways on this floor, but that's par for the course. I didn't use my world card straight away, so now I'm just at the point where I like, might as well just save it now. No need to use it. Um, I don't know what this guy does. Didn't care to find out, so I just decided not to find out. Good, good. Oh my god, that fire thing. Consecration or whatever it is does a lot of damage. Also get some demon poops here. And a full blackout from that poop. Oh, baby. The whippy boys. Oh my god, they're so deadly. Did he whip my uh, my poop closer to him then? I think he did. We do have the library thing there. Um, technically, we could take it. I'm going to take it for the, for the thingy. And then we'll see what we want here. Oh god, my character's glitching the hell out. Right, what do we want here? Um, so I want something that's going to be good for the boss. Something that's going to give us a good boost during the boss fight. Uh. Hmm. I'm entirely sure, actually. Gives the effect of a technology item. Is that only for the room, though? I'm guessing it's only for the room. Gain either disease or medical condition for the rest of the floor. Let's try that out. That could be pretty good. Depression. Nice. Not the ideal one to get. I'm guessing there's some good ones in there. I wonder if bugger tears are in there. That's not really a medical condition, but... I don't know, it's kind of medical, I guess. We'll see. We'll see. What the hell's going on with my character's face right now? It's all, like, wrapped up and gift-wrapped. Looks kind of funky. Nice. We still got a holy light shot in there somehow. I don't know when, quite where that came from. Knife piece two. Go for that. Have we done boss rush? We've done boss rush's hair, so I'm not even going to bother looking. I don't want to be tempted. Good, good. There's all the dips blocking shots for me there, look. And we are Audi. Right, we'll use our world card here, Mr. Worldwide. Oh, this is Excel as well. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, we've got Contagion as our first item by the looks of it there. Oh, 
dude, we've got Brimstone again. I don't want your Brimstone, boy. Secret room's also here. Okay. Both items are available. I don't know what that bag is. I don't care for it. Just take the um, missing poster. Okay, that killed everything. This is doing good damage by the looks of it. Nice. We got the parasite. Ooh, parasite's fun. Although it doesn't seem to work with this brimstone, which is weird. Strange. Oh, Contagion is pretty lovely here. I'm liking that. I like what it is like a micro brim. Weird. Having a real hard time killing the Spidey. Kidney stone. Don't know how valuable that'll end up being for us. I was wondering how we're charging so fast, but I think uh, we're actually getting some use out of jumper cables now. I ah, finally got hit. Oh lord. We've got uh, compound fracture plus parasite, don't we? That leads to some shenanigans. Large zip. It's probably going to be a slow boss fight because of the lag. In fact, so much so, I'm going to exit and continue the run in case it crashes. Because there is a half decent chance it crashes. I mean, the damage is pretty saucy. As you can clearly see. Still, a little bit scary. That's kind of nice. I, I somehow destroyed the knife there. I don't even know what happened. Shielded tier, maybe? See, it looks like we're doing a really bad job of killing her. But, in actual fact, that damage is so insane, but the lag is so heavy that we're unable to see it in real time. We're playing at like 10 frames a second or less now. This is playing at real time. This would be game over, man. You'd be dying so fast. This is the life of playing Isaac modded the Parasite plus um, thingy lags the base game, so in modded it's even more insane. Parasite plus compound fracture. I'm, I'm guessing compound fracture would also be a medical condition, right? I wonder if you get two compound fractures. All right, there you go. Second phase. It just what would be nice is in situations like this, if the game realizes combos like that fuck you up, likewise it just stops producing the particles as much. Because I think it's the burn particles that are really causing the issue. I realize I've got to rotate around him, but honestly, with like this heavy, I think I can just dodge the shots. There's also all this blood underneath him as well, which I'm not quite sure where I say him, I mean mother. Um, which I'm not quite sure where all that blood's coming from, but okay, I guess. I love the fact that there's so many like little tiny stars. Look how long it's taking for that bomb to explode. What a slow fight, even though the fight is basically already over. Oh, we got Kidney Stern going right now. Oh, 
Kidney stone is charged, but not doing anything. I've got a mod that adds a charge bar to kidney stone. I was finally hit, but I might have touched the boss. I didn't even know you could do that. What the hell? Are you meant to be able to do that? That's That seems insane. Look at that HP bar. There you go. It's all over. We can live and let live with the lag. Either way, I hope you guys did enjoy this one. We're keeping the streak alive, keeping it going. A very fun run indeed. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. See what we unlock first. Boom. See you guys in the next one.